edition. Now, the Turkana County leadership has appealed to the Senate to intervene in improving the infrastructure network leading to Lake Turkana Wind Power Project to enable residents benefit as well as boost tourism. County Assembly Speaker Chris Nakuleo said that the potential of Lake Turkana and many other local destinations remains untapped, costing the national and county uh, governments millions, millions of shillings worth of lost revenue. Here is that report. The Senate and the Turkana County Assembly leadership met Monday to discuss ways in which the two legislative houses can collaborate to effectively play their oversight role. We to two, ni wanainchi wengi wajitokezi, ili waji waone bunge lao. Manake bunge la Senate, ni bunge la machinari, ni bunge la, 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 la wanainchi kule machinari. Uh, everybody, including even the young children, are very happy uh, because... Most of the institutions, most of the people fear Turkana County. Turkana Ward representatives called on their counterparts in the Senate to champion investments in infrastructure to open up the region. Our appeal as the county assembly or as the leadership of Turkana is to have the government find some funds to have this road from Lodwa to, to the lake fixed. We realize what we get is so small, it cannot really uh, satisfy the demands that we have as an assembly. Senate Speaker Amazon Kingi assured the leaders that the Senate will spend the week articulating issues affecting the region. I want to urge the honorable members to be around and, and, and extract as much as you can from these uh, uh, senators. There's so much that uh, you can learn and there's so much also that these senators can be able to learn from you. The MC has also asked the Senate to expedite the consideration of the proposed County Public Finance Laws Amendment Bill that roots for the financial autonomy of county assemblies. You cannot oversight someone who determines when to pay, how to pay you, uh, and therefore you need some kind of independence for you to effectively discharge your oversight uh, role. Meanwhile, Kenya Women's Senators Association has welcomed the commitment by the Senate leadership to advocate for greater inclusion of women in governance. It's going to get better and uh, the two-thirds actually the bill is on. We are, we are working on it. Uh, it's already in Parliament and Senator Sengo is fronting it. We're actually giving her uh, all the support. Uh, speaker, we to our Senate, we we ndiyo ngombe inachinjwa kwako. We we ndiyo ngamia inachinjwa kwako. Ngamia inapo chinjwa kumbuka mguu ya wa mama. The women leaders are confident that commitment by their male counterpart may have finally put the wind in their sails in the push for the two-thirds agenda principle. Now, the government says that it is working to address security challenges that are facing